<laughs> what do you have as DDs? Z52, Klebea Halland, okay. Pedro as Raider, no CV, beautiful. What's a good semen on the CD? 7.2. Pretty bad, I know. Generatore di fumo avviato. Sovralimentazione attivata. Forza nemica in vista. Snake, thank you for the raids. Really, really appreciate it, my man. Wait, why don't we have a contact by now? Where is he? You can get this. Huh? Yeah. Wait. Oh. <laughs> My gosh, he's on the other side. That is very annoying. If I keep going like this, he shouldn't be able to tort me. They shouldn't reach me in time. Ooh, okay, we got them all. This hour is a bit annoying. French saturation is saving him at the moment. Aww. He was literally in the only position where I did not expect him. I thought he would literally be somewhere here. Okay. Oh, Kleber is still out of the game, kind of. And thank you for Snake for the ray. Accelerate, 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 accelerate. I knew the tropes were coming, that's why I don't want to eat them. Oof. Oof. Ah, yeah. Have a nice day. Muss leider aufhören. Fiese Rückenschmerzen. Dann gute Besserung, mein Lieber. And I'll give you a shout out real quick. Thank you so much, my man. Really, really appreciate it. Okay. Potato duck with his Zao now on the runway. Oh, that's nice. We got a full HP clear out of the game, and we still have 7k HP left, which is more than enough for me. Yeah, we should cap C. He's right. Nobody looks. The Magnum looks like it's not interested, and last guy's playing it very safe. So we're gonna go for the C cap. <laughs> and nobody, literally nobody's gonna stop us from it. The Pedro is nowhere near in raid range. <clears throat> and we're just gonna annoy this GK with constant top spamming now. Plus Mecklenburg should spot GK for at least a bit. Good morning, Isa Welcome. 
Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you. It's always lovely to see a message. So thank you so much for that. Always warms up my mind, my heart, seeing you. Writing this message every day. <laughs> always cute. <laughs> Yo, what's happening, chat? It's set time. Boop. Boop. Give me some damage. Oh, blind firing me? Ah! And the Zao as well? Oh wait, Mecklenburg is behind me, no wonder they shoot. Ugh. Go away! Go away, you, you, you're too close to me, bro. I'm doing good, Utmong, good morning. And I was wondering why they're both blind firing me and then I realized Magdeburg is right behind me. Which let's call it is not optimal. If you want to survive a CDD. These torps are for the GK. If you can see pushes towards here. I kind of want to rush somebody, but they all have Hydro currently around me, which is not optimal if you want to rush somebody. All forces provide cover for that target. <clears throat> What's the difference between SAP and normal AP? So, SAP is pretty much AP that has a fixed amount of pen, uh, but it has improved AP angles. So, SAP, for example, this SAP pens 38mm, and you can do it at ridiculous angles. Like, you can, if he's quite angled where AP would bounce, you could still pen it with Zap. But the downside is, you have li limited pen, li fixed number that you cannot change, which is usually very low, which means you go for superstructures, for example, or bows or something. It's like a semi-armor pier uh, piercing shell, yeah, pretty much. It cannot cause fires, though, or something. So see it like an, like an AP shell with better ricochet angles, but a fixed amount of pen. On no matter what range. And it does a lot of damage, yeah, as well. <clears throat> and as the other people said, it can't overpen, it always pens, yeah. That's true. Nice. Got a torpedo, it's on the Yama and also on the GK2. Beautiful. Noise, 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 noise. Oh my god, he just got violated. Yeah, we could probably go with... I mean, it doesn't matter now. But we could have probably gone with Sep here. Johan! <laughs> Hello! Ah, 
I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die a horrible death in a bit. Johan, where are you? Oh, we survived the Johan salvo, that means we have a chance of actually killing him. Ah, no, back towards. Meh. I thought we could actually get the Joe in here real quick. <laughs> Uh, if I had spotting a bit more, like if the Mogami would have been here, but then he dies, I presume. Uh, we could have probably finished the Johan and at least tried to torp the Monty. Yeah, still a good match for Rigolo, honestly. A cap, two kills. Full full Kleber kill. This is going to be a very good result, I presume. And the enemy team is now crumbling completely. They're all out of position besides Zhao and the cap. But yeah, Joe and David very low, GK very low, Shima very low on our side, but uh, low Shima is even more dangerous for the BBs, to be fair. Come on. All stations, concentrate fire on that target. Actually, our GK is also pretty low. This is getting very dangerous, this matchup here. But we do have a significant points lead. <coughs> so let's see. Why is the Shima not torping though? Dude, I don't see any torps in the water. He should be reloaded by now. Interesting. What year would you say Wolf? Well, the warship was at its peak. I don't really have a year for it. I don't really have a year for it. Because for me it always had the core problem of CVs. No matter RTS or... Um, CV reworked, uh, reworked CVs. But if I had to choose, it would be the one patch with reworked CVs where AA was actually doing a lot of damage. Which they, of course, changed instantly. But that was probably the best one month I had in this game where AA was actually useful. That was a great battle. But I don't know when that was. That was like, I don't know, three years ago or something. Wait, why is Shima... Okay, nice. <laughs> I can't cope with these players, we lose. Why did you shoot? There's no radar. I think we lose this. <laughs> Never mind, chat. How am I supposed to know that the Shima just opens between two ships up? There was no reason he ever gets spotted. And why is the Hindenburg? Only shooting AP. Oh my god, Chad. What is this? Angle the Yamato, let's shoot AP. Aww. Okay, Haaland is killing Monty. I'm gonna lose NC soon though. Okay, we should still have it. We have a massive points need and we have a DD player who knows what to do. Bro, look at this Hindi, he's still shooting AP. Yes, Hindi AP is good, but bro, it's broadside. It doesn't have improved AP angles or anything. Just shoot HG. That GK could have been farmed three times in a row already. Now NC shoot HG on that Yamaha. Okay, I mean, he couldn't shoot back. That's fine, but... Bro. 
Bro, this Hindi is still shooting. Look, he's shooting AP at a broad at the nose in Zhao. Like, what I don't understand, if you are this individual, how can you be satisfied with not getting any damage from your salvos? Why is he not switching the ammo? How can you be satisfied with not doing like doing a thousand damage with like seven servers in a row? Hey Nabra, welcome. Mm. What is this? <laughs> The Sinti literally hasn't done any damage in the last two minutes. Bro! What is this? If Haaland survives, we win the game. They can't catch up on points, I think. Yeah, it's good. It's not bad that he's opening up because he needs to kill the GK. He has to now, because otherwise they catch up on points. And I think he should be fine killing the GK, because Zhao is kind of out of position. And Yamato is also in a position where he can't get punished by him. As long as we keep one cap and we kill the GK, we win the game. My god, look, one guy understands how to play this. Even if he would lose, no, at least he tried. We win. One minute on the clock. This Hindenburg literally made me lose brain cells. And nobody can tell me it was a bot. The bot would at least hit. <laughs> but he didn't even really hit that much. Oh my goodness gracious. What did I witness there, chat? Holy moly. Hey Fedro, welcome. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> GG. Oh, that was an emotional. That was an emotional roller coaster. That's for sure. That was an absolutely emotional roller coaster. Thank you for Holland. Thank you, Holland, for not throwing the game. And actually trying to win it. <laughs>